From the Disney Channel to the courthouse, this Hollywood starlet has been keeping the tabloids busy. Welcome to WatchMojo.com, and today we'll be learning more about the origins of Lindsay Lohan. In my heart, I feel that a legend is about to be born. That legend would be me. Born July 2, 1986, in New York City, Lindsay Lohan grew up on Long Island with her parents, Dina and Michael, and her three younger siblings. Lohan excelled in her academic studies at Cold Spring Harbor High School and began homeschooling in 11th grade. Homeschooled? That's really interesting. Thanks. You're like really pretty. Her career started when she was just three years old after she was signed by the Ford Modeling Agency. She starred in over 60 TV commercials, including an appearance alongside Bill Cosby in an ad for Jell-O. Lohan then took on the role of Ali Fowler on the soap opera Another World. After a year on the show, she left in 1998 to star as twins in the Disney remake of The Parent Trap. A string of appearances in television shows and made-for-TV movies followed. Lohan then starred in another film remake, the body swap comedy Freaky Friday with Jamie Lee Curtis in 2003. The next year, the young actress starred in her first original movies. Both Confessions of a Teenage Drama Queen and Mean Girls yielded Lohan a number of MTV Movie Awards and nominations, and solidified her place as a teen movie star. Oh hi, did you want to buy some drugs? I'm just done with my quiz. Wait, I'll grade it right now. Due to her newfound high profile, Lohan became a target for paparazzi around this time, and this inspired her first album. The 2004 pop rock record Speak featured a number of songs written by Lohan herself and showcased her potential as a triple threat performer. Her next film was 2005's Herbie Fully Loaded, and that movie marked Lohan's first attempts at more adult roles. Shooting the film proved difficult for the actress, and she was hospitalized with a kidney infection. Lohan was also accused of questionable behavior by Disney and was subsequently downplayed in the film's promotion. Lohan's second album was released in 2005. The record was called A Little More Personal, Raw, and was not as successful commercially or critically as her debut. She refocused on her movie career and in 2006 released the critical and commercial flop, Just My Luck. Lohan's next years were spent focusing on more mature roles and independent films. She appeared in movies like the ensemble comedy A Prairie Home Companion, the political drama Bobby, the Gary Marshall film Georgia Rule, and the thriller I Know Who Killed Me. I enjoy sunsets, long walks on the beach, and playing the piano. I have never seen the inside of a strip club or a crack house, and I have never sold my body to hairy old men with B.O because I am perfect. Though her acting was often commended, her personal life was spiraling downward. It was around this time Lohan had a number of high-profile DUI incidents and arrests, as well as stints in the hospital, rehab, and Alcoholics Anonymous. She was accused of irresponsible and unprofessional behavior by some of her colleagues, and was fired or forced to withdraw from some film projects. After she was placed on probation, Lohan attempted to revive her acting career in 2008 with a guest-starring role on the popular TV series Ugly Betty. Get behind the human shield! Where's the human shield? What? She also expanded her talents to become a fashion designer. In 2008, she launched the clothing line 6126, with those numbers representing the birthday of Lohan's longtime idol, Marilyn Monroe. Her troubles with drugs, alcohol, and the law continued, and Lohan spent some time in jail over the next years. In 2010, she managed to appear in the action movie Machete as the drugged up and spoiled daughter of a rich businessman. Often voted as one of the world's sexiest women, Lohan has had high-profile relationships with singer Aaron Carter and with actor Wilmer Valderrama. However, it was her relationship with DJ Samantha Ronson that drew the most attention. In recent years, Lohan has spent more time in the courtroom than she has in the movies. However, if the rumors are true, she will be back on the silver screen soon. Or you could find me on the cover of Us Weekly because I'm so alone.